Good morning, everyone. This is Robert from RJL518, welcoming you to a morning edition of Inside Pitch, the 1976 season. Uh, the reason why we're doing in the morning, the NFL draft is tonight, so I wanted to get this game in still so I can watch the draft. Today's date is May 24th, 1976, and we are at San Diego Stadium for a game between the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. Al Red Sox fan is first to join us at San Diego Stadium, the King of the Hill. He is the he is a jack of all trades and a master of all trades. So always check out his awesome, spectacular, terrific channel. He just did an he just did a test of action PC uh, football last night. So make sure you check it out if you're interested in, in the action uh, video game. The uh, Padres historically won this game two to nothing. There were eleven. There were 11 hits and one error in the game, and Red Sox fan is listening from work, so please sit back and enjoy a little broadcast. Baseball Demos joins us here at San Diego Stadium, and yes, I'm early today because the NFL draft is tonight. So because the draft is tonight, I do want to watch that the first round. Um, second and third rounds and the later rounds are okay, but I don't need to be watching those, but the first round, definitely yes. So I do watch the draft with a friend of mine uh, tonight. So that's why we're doing our game early. We got a pretty good matchup today here. The Dodgers come into the game at 18 and 21, fourth place NL West. The Padres 16 21, fifth place NL West. Both teams are trying to stay re relevant and to get the top three into the playoffs. So we should have a pretty good baseball game. We are using beta rules for inside pitch, the, the, the new version three chart. If you've not downloaded it, please. Download it and play test it so that you can give Chris your ideas. And Baseball Demos is another wacky Nats game. I will definitely look forward to that. Starting pitcher for the San Diego Padres today was Dave Freslebin. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Freslebin, Freslebin, I'm not, or Freslebin, I'm not sure. So 10 wins, 13 losses, a save, a 3-5-1 ERA. He gets the call for the Friars today. We are using brown, yellow, and white dice for the pod, for the Padre home team. So let's get started. Top of the first, leading off for the Dodgers, second baseman Davey Lopes, two forty one average, four homers, twenty RBIs. Let's get rolling for some morning baseball. Jack Dawson joins us here at San Diego Stadium. One four for Fresleben. That is a blank. Lopes will swing three two, and that's a fly out to center. If people are wondering why it's San Diego Stadium and not Jack Murphy Stadium, Jack wasn't known as Jack Murphy until 1981. Pitch from Freslebin, 1-4. That, again, is a blank. Buckner will swing, 2-1, and that's a ball hit to center field. That is an 18. Against a righty, that's going to be too high, and that's just going to be a fly out to center. Bill Buckner is in left field, batted 301, seven homers, 60 RBIs, one of Buckner's better years he had with the Dodgers before moving on to other teams. Some of them should remain nameless. Here's the center fielder, Dusty Baker, 242 average, four homers, 39 RBIs in 76. Freslebin with the pitch, 3-6, and that is a strikeout that four will get him. San Diego Stadium, minus three to strikeouts and minus one to walks. And Freslebin gets a strikeout, and the Dodgers go in order to start the top of the first. We go to the bottom of the first starting pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers, Tommy John. 10 wins, 10 losses, 309 ERA. Before his surgery, uh, Tommy John, however, was already a pretty decent pitcher. I don't know if you sometimes, I, I don't know if you, if you, if you put him in, I, Tommy John, to me, I think belong in the hall, belongs in the hall, the very good. And maybe because of the surgery, some people say Hall of Fame. I don't know. Start leading off for the Padres. Shortstop Enzo Hernandez. Padres have a little bit of a, a little hodgepodge lineup, but most of their starters are in it. 256 average, a homer, 24 RBIs. John will pitch 5-3, and that's a strikeout. The one, no, because Hernandez is a, against the left-handed pitcher. Hernandez is a three, but minus three is a zero. So he's not going to strike out, at least with that rating. 
unless with a five, unless with a strikeout plus. Five five from Hernandez, though, is just a ground ball to third. And that is the first out. <clears throat> Next up, left fielder Merv Rettenman, 229 average, two homers, 11 RBI. John will pitch, 4-2, strikeout 20 is way out of the park. Rettenman will swing, 1-3, and that's a base hit, fast third, and that'll be a single for Rettenman as the Padres get the first hit of the game. Here's the center fielder, Willie Davis, 268 average, five homers, 46 RBIs. Infield will move halfway, and we'll see if anything happening on Strat, and that is a 14 and no. John will pitch, and that is a 5-3, and that strikeout 11 is high. Davis does take a swing. 4-1, he grounds it to third. They turn double play, 1-0-2. And second base for the Dodgers, Lopes, and he has a zero arm. So a 1-2, to two, they turn the double play. Yes, they will. Side retired around the horn. No runs and a hit for the Padres. That does retire the side on the double play. And after one, we got no score. Second inning coming up for the Dodgers. First baseman, Steve Garvey. 317 average, 13 homers, 80 RBIs. One of Garvey's better years. Of course, Garvey was actually a pretty good ball player all, all the way through. Freslebin, that is a 5-5. Five, five. That's an error on a grounder. Garvey will swing 4-5. That's a fly out to center. So, of course, no error there. And that's out number one. Coming up next for the Dodgers, third baseman Ed Goodson. The Penguin is not in the starting lineup for this game. 229 average, three homers, 17 RBI. Freslebin, that is a 3-6 strikeout, 14, no good. Goodson will take a will take a hack at it, 5-4, and he chops it to first for out number two. Next up is the catcher, Joe Ferguson. He'll be traded to the Cardinals later in the year. Ferguson, 211 average, 10 homers, 39 RBIs. Freslebin, 3-3, three, three, range play at the park. San Diego Stadium says 4-5, and that is a single possible double to right field, but it is a range play first, so we check to see. It's hit to the right fielder, Dave Winfield. His range is a four out there. He will make the catch, and he takes a base hit away from Ferguson, and that's not the first time that he's come up to bat in any of the Dodger games he's been in that he always seems to have a hit taken away from him. So that just becomes a fly out the right. Fries Libin. Fries as in French fries. Okay, Fries Libin. Thank you very much there, Dave. And that is a one, two, three inning on the Dodgers. But that is not the first time that Ferguson always seems to have a hit taken away from him via a range play or a, or a possible infield single where he's thrown out. He's gotten some bad luck so far as a member of the Dodgers. Maybe when he goes to the Cardinals, he may do a little better. Bottom of the second, right fielder Dave Winfield, a young Dave Winfield, 283 average, 13 homers, 69 RBIs. Winfield was really just coming into his own just about now in 76. Pitch from John, 4-5, range play. Winfield will take the swing, 6-6, six, six, fly ball to right field, and out there for the Dodgers in right is Joe Simpson, and his range out there is a 4. He won't get that one, single or double. That's going to be a base hit for Winfield. He gets a single as he hits it kind of in front of Simpson, who couldn't make the play. Lead-off base hit for the Friars. Thank you very much there, Dave. I love I love chatting with any of you guys, whether it's our Red Sox fan, Dave Gardner, or ID Jester, I, you know, or uh, Tony Porter, or you know, or Kurt or, or Kurt Berglund. Chatting with you guys, is a, trust me, is a lot of fun, and it's always an honor for me to do that. Who would have thought I would be doing that in the middle, in the early parts of last year with this pandemic? Third baseman Doug Rader is next, 257 average, nine homers. 
uh, 55 ribbies. Infield does go half. Let's see if anything happening on Strat. That is a 10. And no. John will go ahead and pitch. And that is a 1-5. That's a range play at the park. San Diego Stadium will say 6-2. That is a star one. And that's a ground ball to second base. It's hit the Lopes. Lopes' range is a three. But with the infield halfway, it's a two. Nope, he's not going to get it. That's going to be a base hit. That's going to be a single pass second. Winfield's base running rating is a four, and he will make it to third with that. Needs to be a one to three to get to third, and he will make it. Single for Raider as he hits it past, as he hits it past Lopes. Runners at the corners with no one out, so the Padres are in business, as I like to say when there's at least two runners on. Second baseman Tito Fuentes will come in now for the Padres. 263 average, two homers, 36 RBIs. Infield is still going to play halfway. It's early, so the Dodgers will try to get two runs. We'll try to get two outs and give up the run. Let's see if anything happening on Strat. That is a two. Uh, Doug, there's nothing happening there with Raider, nothing with Winfield, and I'm not doing a hit and run here. So Fuentes is good for Fuentes, even though a hit and run is available, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let him swing. John will pitch. 4-4. Four, four. Hit by pitch. 14 is way out of there. Fuentes will swing. 1-1. One, one. He pops out to third. Ouch. That's bad. And that's out number one. Not a good swing by Fuentes at all. Next batter is first baseman Mike Ivey. Ivy is at first base for this game. 291 average, seven homers, 70 RBIs. One of the Padres' better hitters that year. Runners at the corners. Infield is halfway. Once this project's on doing a single season team, or do you think the variety of all teams? I think the variety of all teams plays better. Because a lot of teams want to, I mean, if I was to play a Mets replay, which I would love to do, yes, an 86 replay, certain teams would not get seen. And I want all my fans to enjoy their teams. Runners, I don't, it doesn't matter. Remember, it doesn't matter. And of course, when it comes to the playoffs, you know, that could be something special too. It is, was an idea, but I just like doing all the teams. And then you get to see all the players and all the players available. So runners to the corners, one out. They're going to keep the infield half. See if anything happening on Strat. That is a three. And I'm not going to do a hit and run here either. So John's going to pitch. That's a four, two. Strikeout, 16, no good. Ivy will swing. Three, four. And against the lefty, that's going to be a double to left off a left-hander for Ivy. He hits his split. And that is going to be a double. Winfield does come in to score automatically. Let's see if what happens at Raider. Raider's base running rating is a two. Double the left, minus one. And left fielder for the Dodgers is Buckner. Minus one is a zero. So he's got no chance to get to home. So he will automatically hold it third. But the Padres are up one nothing on an RBI double by Ivy. Stadium cheers. Yay! Runners at second and third now, and here is the catcher, Fred Kendall. 246 average, two homers, 39 RBIs that year. The infield is now going to play in to prevent Raider from coming in. one nothing Padres here, bottom of the second. Let's see if anything happening on Strat. John does have pickoff chance, seven and no. John will pitch, and that is a 1-1. That's blank. Kendall will swing, 3-1, and he flies out to right. So now the question is, do they get the sacrifice? The sacrifice fly rating is a 2, and no, he won't bring in Raider that way. Raider's base running rating is a 2. It's right field, and that is Simpson. He has a minus 1 arm. So on a one, Raider will score. Two to five, he holds. Six, there could be an out. That is a three he holds at third base. So there are two outs. So we can't get the run in. And here's Dave Freislebin. Dan Douglas joins us here at San Diego Stadium. Runners at second and third. Two outs now. 
We'll see if anything happening strat roll wise. 20. John turns around, throws to second to get Ivy. And he is safe. Gets back, but barely. John almost threw that away. A nice play there by um a nice play. A nice play there by the second baseman Lopes to make the play there. So John will go ahead and pitch. Freislebin had a 189 average as a hitter that year. 5-2. That's a blank. Freislebin's going to get a chance to swing. 3-5. Nope, he chops it right back to John. He'll toss it to first to end it. One run for the Padres on three hits. After two, Padres lead 1-0. Do I want fries? Do I want fries with that? Possibly. I may want fries with that. Going to the top of the third and leading off for the Dodgers is right fielder Joe Simpson. Simpson, eh? I'll have to remember that name. Mr. Burns. Joe Simpson, 133 average, didn't have many at bats, only had 30 at bats that year, but he is in the starting lineup for this game. Fries Levin will pitch. 3-3 three, three, range play at the park. San Diego Stadium 4-2. Ground ball to third. The ball is hit to Doug Rader. His range is a four, and he'll get it. Makes a nice play, throws to first, out number one. Nice play by Rader to get Simpson. For the Dodgers, shortstop Bill Russell, 274 average, five homers, 65 RBI. Free McNuggets to everyone with a Padres win, courtesy of Ray Kroc. Fries Lebin will pitch, and that is a 3-5. That's a walk, and that is more a 3 than anything else, and that's going to walk Russell. Barely, because Russell has a, has a 4 against righties, minus 1 from the, pot, from the stadium is a 3. That's a three to me, and I'm going to let that be a three, and that will walk Russell. And that's the first base runner allowed by Fries Lebin so far. Here's the pitcher, Tommy John. One out. I think we'll probably see a bunt. Well, check those strat anyway, see if anything happening. That is a two. Ooh, Russell's got a chance to steal. He's got a 15 stolen base rating, plus one is a 16. Uh, Kendall has a zero arm. They're going to send Russell. Russell's going to try for second. A 1-16, to 16, he's safe. Yes, and barely gets under the tag with a 16. Russell steals second base. And now that means John will probably hit away. Nothing on the strat this time on the three. So now John will go ahead and will try to... John will try to hit away now. So Russell on its second base with a stolen base. And now John will bat. 109 batter as a hitter. 2-4 from Freislebin. That's at the park. San Diego Stadium says 6-5. And that's a ground ball to short. The throw is going to go to first. Russell's base running rating is a 2. He has to beat. He has to. And let's see here. He has to has to beat that roll. So the only way he can get to third is on a one. And he does. Okay. He gets the one and Russell goes to third. It was a slow rolling grounder to uh slow rolling grounder to Hernandez. So Russell does go to third. That's two outs. Next up is Davy Lopes. Lopes is 0 for 1. Infield is normal. Check to see if anything happening. A four, nothing. Russell on it, third. Freislebin, a little bit of a jam, trying to get out of it. Freislebin, two, three. That's a blank. Lopes will swing away. That's a four, five. And he grounds it to second base. Ground out to second. That's picked up by Fuentes. He'll throw to first and end the threat. We go to the bottom of the third. There was no run. There were no runs and no hits on that in that inning. There was a walk. Bottom of the third. Here is Enzo Hernandez. He's 0 for 1, leading off against John. 
And that is a 3 2 error on a grounder. Hernandez will swing 5 1, and that is a ground ball to short. That's hit to Russell. His error rating is a 2. That is a 2. He picks it up. Put, oh, it just comes out of his throwing hand, and it just falls to the ground. That's going to be an error. And that's going to be an E6 on Bill Russell. First error on the Dodgers. And they did make an error historically in that game. So Hernandez will make it to first. And Russell just plain went to make the throw, tried to make the transfer, and it just fell out of his hand. And Hernandez is safe. Infield will go halfway, and now a chance for Merv Rettman. Rettman is one for one, singled his first time up. Let's see if anything on Strat. Hernandez has a chance to steal. And that four minus one is a three. No steal, but a hit and run opportunity. Let's see if that's available. Uh, with Merv Rettman against lefty, that is a nine. Is that just a plus two? Yeah. Hernandez has a 13. Just in case he fails, it would become an 11 now with a, if a fail hit and run. Now nah, we'll just have Rhett and Munn swing away. Since uh, so we're new updates to the first to the version three chart by Chris. So now on a hit and run, it's no longer just a regular steal. A failed hit and run. Uh, it's now minus two to the uh, base run to the SB rating of the runner. I actually wanted it to be a little higher than that, but he said. Uh, minus five was a little bit too harsh, so we went with minus two right now. So it says okay. John will pitch. That's a one six. That's a walk. That five, yeah. Redman walks 23 and 27. So anytime a W comes up on a pitcher, that's pretty much going to be automatic. And he walks Redman. So no need for hit and run or anything like that at all. Redman does walk. And now you got runners at first and second, nobody out. So the Padres are in business now. Here's Willie Davis. Davis grounded out into a double play his last time up. He's 0 for 1. See if anything on Strat. That is a 4. And I don't think anything happening, no. I don't hit and run with runners on second anyway. So it's just going to be a regular play. John will pitch to Davis. Runners at first and second for the Padres. And that's a 5-4. And against the lefty, that's an automatic out. It's going to be a star 3. And a ground ball to third. Where was it hit? And that is a three. And that is right at the third baseman. Got a choice of a force only at third or try for second for first double play. They will try for the second to first double play. So we got one, zero, two. Second base lopes is a zero. So a one to two, they'll turn the double play. No, they don't get it. Hernandez does advance to third. That four is higher than Rettman, so he is out. Davis is at first. So one out. They can only get the one man out at second. Still runners at the corners, though, with one out. As they couldn't turn the DP. And that gives Dave Winfield a chance to try to get a run in. Winfield is one for one. Singled his first time up. Infield will still stay halfway. They're going to try to get the two outs. Winfield does ground into double plays pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, uh, okay, pretty, pretty frequently with a GDP of three. Check the strat. That is an eighteen. No play happening there. Tommy John will pitch, and that's a four six. It's a blank. Winfield gets the swing away, and that is a three six, and that's going to be a base hit past first. Winfield gets his second hit of the game. Hernandez does come in to score. Davis's base running rating is a four, single pass first. Yes, he'll make it easily to third. Winfield on first. And we got another run coming in for the Padres. They now lead to zero. Dave Winfield comes through with a big hit. Two nothing now, Friars. And still, runners at the corners, and still one out. And here is Raider. Raider is one for one, singled his first time up. Infield will remain halfway, trying to turn two. And that is a 15, nothing on the strap. John will go ahead and pitch, 2-6. That's at the park, San Diego Stadium. Says 2-3, that is a star five, and that's going to be a ground ball to short. Can they turn the double play and get out of the inning? Three, 
zero, and Davis is coming home. Three, zero, four. Second base, Lopes is a zero. A one to four, they get out of the inning. Yes, they do. Side retired. That is a six, four, three double play, and the inning will be over. As Raider grounds into the twin killing. But the Padres get one run on one hit, a walk, and an error, a big error, which allowed the run after three, two nothing for the Friars. Inning number four. Leading off for the Dodgers will be Billy Buckner. Buckner is 0 for 1. Fries Levin will pitch. And that's a 1-1 hit by pitch. That 20 doesn't have a chance. Buckner will swing 1-3 and he grounds it to second base. Ground out to second and the batter now will be Dusty Baker. Baker is 0 for 1. Fries Levin. And that is a 3-1 against a righty. That's a walk chance. That five will be good. He will walk Baker. And that is the second walk issued by Freislebin. So Baker goes to first. Infield moves to half. And now can Garvey come through with a clutch with a clutch hit? And he does hit righties better than lefties. Garvey is 0 for 1. See if anything happening strat roll wise. 19 says no. Garvey's not going to punt. So runner, even though he's got a very good bunt rating, but with one out, no. Baker on it first. Fries Lebin ready to pitch. And that is a 4-4. And against a righty, that's an automatic out. It's going to be a star three and a ground ball to first. Did they turn the double play? Three, zero, four. And Garvey hitting from the right side. So that's a short, that's a shortstop automatic. So shortstop for the Padres is Hernandez. He has no arm, so a zero. A one to four, the Padres turn another double play. Yes, they do. Three, six, three, double play. Inning over. Nothing across there except the walk as Garvey just grounds it right into the three, six, three. And it remains two, nothing Padres. That's actually the first double play hit in two by the Dodgers. The Padres have grounded into two of them so far. Yeah, I know. It just really wasn't. I, I like It really wasn't. And I'm selling my uh, fall classic. So if anybody's interested, shoot me an email, rjl518 at Yahoo. Um, I, I know what I'm asking for it, but I'll, you know, accept some offers for the two sets. I have 1986 and 1969, plus two copies of fact, two fact decks. So if anybody's interested in Fall Classic, please let me know. It just, I just couldn't really, just wasn't exciting for me. Bottom of the four, two nothing Padres. This game, however, is loads of fun. Fuentes leads over for the Padres, leads up, leads over, leads off. He's 0 for 1. John will pitch. 1-3. Blank. Fuentes takes a swing. 4-6. Ground out to second base. Love this game so much. Every die roll, you have no idea what's going to happen. And every card is different. Chris Davis couldn't have made a more exciting baseball game. Maybe not the best and maybe not the most accurate, but you know what? It's accurate enough for me. Here's Mike Ivey. And Michael Peterson joins us here at San Diego Stadium if he's getting over the hangover of his Yankees losing last night. Ivy is one for one, doubled his first time up. What a game that was last night, too, to the Red Sox and the Yankees. 3-2 to Don. 3-2, that is an error on a grounder. Ivy will swing 6-1. That is a star four. And that's going to be a ground ball to third. This time the ball is hit to Goodson. His error rating is a 20. Well, Goodson's going to pick it up, and he drops the ball. Fires the first, not in time. Ivy is safe at first. Second error on the Dodgers. Ed Goodson has an error rating of 20 at third base, and that is not good. That is an E5. 
And that is error number two on the Dodger. So Goodson drops it, and Ivy safe at first. So another error, and John can't believe he looks at his infield and said, does anybody here want to play some baseball? Here's the catcher, Fred Kendall. Kendall 0 for 1. We'll check for Strat. Infield moves to half. And that is a 14. There's nothing happening there. John will go ahead and pitch. 5, 6. That's a blank. Kendall will swing. 4, 6. That's a fly out the left. Now the infield moves back as the pitcher will come up to bat, and that is Freislebin. Freislebin 0 for 1. Anything on Strat at all? That is a 16. No. And with two outs, nothing happening there. John will pitch. 5-1. That's a range play. Can Freislebin come through with a hit? 4-1. That is a pop fly ball to first. And that's Garvey. Garvey's range is a three. The infield is normal. And nope, it's going to fall away from him. That's going to be a single. Freislebin gets a hit as he hits it out of Garvey's range as he can't get it. Ivy's base running range is a three, becomes a four with two outs. And he'll make it to third as Ivy, of course, was off on contact. And he'll make it to third base. Freislebin gets a hit. A range play hit for him. And I may start keeping track of range plays and see which fielders come through and which fielders don't. Freislebin gets that hit, and John pretty much slams his glove onto the mound, saying, come on now. And now here's Hernandez. Hernandez is 0 for 1, but he did reach first on an error in, his error, in an error earlier in the game. So runners at the corners, and John's going to have to make another bat pitch to another batter here. Two outs. Anything on Strat? That is a two, and the answer is no. John ready to pitch to Hernandez. Padres fans would love to see another hit here. Make the Dodgers pay for an error. John's pitch, 4-1 against a right-hander. That's blank. Hernandez will swing for 2 Base hit to left field. That's a single. Ivy does come in to score. Fres Freislebin has a base running rating of two, becomes a three. Single to left, minus two is a one. Left fielder Buckner, minus one is a zero. No chance to get the third. He'll automatically hold. Hernandez gets the first, and it is now three-nothing Padres. And John just looks up into the sky and says, did I do something wrong, God? Did I do something wrong here? And in the game you roll versus fast play. Well, they're third. Well, the Padres are 16 and 21 overall. Um, on the board so far, I think I've only played them once. San Diego is 1 and 0. So they're 1 and 0 on the board. I do keep track of the games on the board. For seeding reasons, if there's a tie at the end of the year. So runners at first and second. John can't believe it. Now 3-0 Padres. They've already eclipsed the 2-0 originally. And here is Redmond. Redmond is one for one, singled and walked. Two outs. The infield is normal. Anything happening on the strat? 15, no. John will go ahead and pitch. And that's a 1-1 blank. Rettman will swing, 3-5, that's a star six, he'll ground it to the shortstop, and the throw is going to go to first, because Rettman's a little bit slower, and he'll get the final out and end it. Another run for the Padres, they're eking out runs, so one run, two hits, and one error on the Dodgers, and after four, Padres leading 3-0. The Padres historically won this game 2-0. So apparently, Freislebin and the bullpen shut the Dodgers out in this game. For those of you who did watch last night's Red Sox game and Yankees game, I never gave the line score. Uh, the Boston Red Sox had nine runs, 16 hits, and no errors. 
The Yankees, eight runs, 13 hits and no errors. There were 29 hits last night in a game historically that only had eight. So last night, inside pitch said, let's go ahead and give you a good game. A high-scoring matchup. And sometimes you get that. Here is Ed Goodson, and he'll lead off for the Dodgers. He's 0 for 1. Freislebin, 2 6. That's blank. Goodson swings away 5 1, and he grounds it to second base. Here's Joe Ferguson. He's 0 for 1. Flew out to right on a range play. Freislebin will pitch. 6-5, again a range play for Ferguson, so he's going to get another chance, and that's a 5-4, that's a ground ball to first, and that ball is hit to Ivy, Ivy's range is a 4, not this time, that's going to get past him, and that is going to be a single for Ferguson, Ferguson says, finally I get a, I get a break, and that is the first hit off of Dave Freislebin in this game. That is that is definitely that is a first that is his first hit in this game. So Freislebin actually pitches four innings of no hit ball. He did give up a walk though, but Ferguson on first base. And now here's Simpson, eh? Simpson is 0 for 1. Infield does go to halfway. Let's see if anything on Strat. That is a nine, and the answer is no. Freislebin will take a swing. We'll pitch it. Three, one. And against the lefty, that is blank. Simpson will swing. Three, six. And he grounds it right back to the pitcher. Now he has no double play rating, though. But and now that is Freislebin. However, hit back to the pitcher. He automatically gets plus one. So that's already one, two. And Simpson hitting from the left side. So the shortstop is pivot, and that is Hernandez, and he has a zero. So a one to two, they'll still turn the double play, and no, Ferguson will get to second on that. It was a it was a Baltimore chop, and Frieslebin knew the only play he had was the first. So that makes out number two. But a runner goes to second, and here's Bill Russell. Russell walked his first time up. Two outs now. Rolled main four for pickoff chance and not there. Freislebin will pitch to Russell. And that's a 3-1 against a righty. That's a walk chance. That 14 has no prayer. Russell will swing 1-1 one, one, and he just flies out to center. And the inning ends. So no runs a hit for the Dodgers. They finally get a hit. We are halfway through the game. 3-0 Padres. Although I like to say halfway, but sometimes halfway in my games can be the seventh inning or eighth inning, depending on extra innings I get. And of course, I'm looking here. Baseball Demo said he had another wacky game. Please check out his channel, people. He had a crazy game between the Nationals and the Cubs uh, earlier. I will not give out uh, a thing yesterday. So I did not... Um, I did not uh, go ahead, and uh, I won't give any spoilers. There are a few things you don't – Dan Douglas says, a few things I don't like about Falkland. So damn smooth. It is smooth. I'm not going to take anything away from the game engine, Dan. Nothing from the game engine. The Fall Classic engine is pretty darn good. I just wasn't excited. I just – the engine is great. The engine's good. It's a great engine. It's almost like a combination of APA, a little bit, a combination of APA, Stratomatic, and a little payoff pitch mixed in there with the pitcher grades. All right? I just wasn't getting into the game. Bottom of the fifth, 3 nothing Padres. John's going to come back on the mound here, and Willie Davis will bat. Davis is 0 for 2. But you are right, Dan. It is smooth. I'm not knocking the engine. John's pitch. 5-3. That's a strikeout. That four. Yep, got him. Struck him out. And that is strikeout number. Is that the first? Yeah, it's strikeout number one for Tommy John. Finally gets a K. He only had 91 of them in 76. So he gets Davis to strike out. Here's Winfield. Winfield is right now the star of the game. Two for two, two singles. John will pitch. 
One, one. That's a blank. Winfield gets to swing. That's four, three. This time he grounds out to third. Two outs for Doug Raider. Raider is one for two, has a single in the game. John will pitch. Four, six. That is a blank. Raider will take a hack at it. Two, five. And he grounds out to short. And that is a one, two, three inning for Tommy John. And that is also the first one, two, three inning he's had in this game. After five, still three, nothing Padres. I did purchase a copy of Woe Nelly. For college football, I want to give that a crack. And I am, so I don't know what pro football game I'm going to choose yet. My ish, I'm looking at Inside Blitz. I'm looking at second season, at the football. But the games look like they take so darn long. And I don't want long games. One of the reasons why I love Inside Pitch, the game doesn't take that long to play. Or any baseball game really doesn't take too long to play because you're just rolling for the result. Then there's hockey. Appa Hockey, um, uh, right now Dave Gardner is doing Appa Hockey, which looks like fun. Inside the crease look like I looked, I took a closer look at inside the crease, and that could be a better choice, could be a good choice. I have no idea yet what I'm going to add to the rotation. But people are asking me, I got are asking me to add to the rotation. Top of the sixth inning, still three-nothing Padres. And Tommy John is the leadoff batter for the Dodgers. Do they want him to pitch? He's got four batters left before he gets tired. You're down 3 nothing. You know what? Forever Remain 90 joins us here at San Diego Stadium. Yes, I'm doing them. I know the only way you can watch a live stream is if I do it in the mornings. I know you catch my replays, but uh, no, I'm sorry. I know I don't do morning streams anymore for the time being. But I'm only doing a morning stream today because the NFL draft is tonight, and I do want to watch that first round. The first round, uh, they're going to call Tommy John back, and they're going to let they're going to bring in a pinch hitter. So the Dodgers are going to go bullpen a little early, even though it's only three nothing. I know it's '70s baseball, but you got to try to win games here. So they're going to bring out Ron Say to pinch hit against Freislevin. So here's the Penguin, Ron Say, 277 average, 23 homers, 80 RBIs. He will go ahead and uh, pinch hit. No, I have not tried the 5D20 football. I have not. I did look at it, though, Dan. I did look at it. But I like I, I like cards. I don't know. I have to, I have to see. Freislebin will pitch. 5-6. And against a righty, that's an automatic out. Star three, ground out to first. So Say comes in there and can't do anything with it. And now Davey Lopes will come up to bat. Lopes is 0 for 2. Freislebin, 2 1, strikeout 1. Got him. He gets Lopes on a K. And that is strikeout number 2 for Freislebin. Here's Billy Buckner. Buckner is 0 for 2. Freislebin, 4 2. That's a walk chance. That 19 had doesn't have a chance. Buckner, 1 3. He grounds it to second base. And that is a three up, three down inning for Freislebin. He is coming. He is pitching a gem, apparently, like he did historically, as he did, obviously, because the Padres shut the Dodgers out historically in this game. One, two, three inning. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Leading off for the Padres will be Tito Fuentes. And let's see who they're going to go with. Let's see here. One, one. I think they're going to go with a righty. So they're going to bring a right-hander in. for The Dodgers are going to bring in a right-hander. And let's see who they'll go with. Yeah, they'll bring out the guy. And coming out to pitch for the Dodgers will be Mike Marshall. Six wins, four losses, 14 saves, a 3.99 ERA. Pretty much a closer, but Marshall also came in for many other reasons. So Mike Marshall will pitch to Tito Fuentes here, starting the bottom of the sixth. Marshall, 2-3, three, strikeout, 3, got him, I think. Yes, he got him. 7 minus 3 is 4. He does get Fuentes, struck him out. 
Fuentes goes down, and the batter now will be Mike Ivey. Another reason why you're bringing Marshall, he can pitch to a number of batters. Ivy is one for one, doubled and reached on an error. Marshall with the pitch, four, six, that's blank. Ivy goes ahead and swings, six, six, he grounds it to second base. That's the second out. Here's Fred Kendall. Kendall 0 for 2. Marshall 5 6. That's a strikeout. The 18 is no good. Kendall 3 5. He flies out to center, and Marshall does what's asked of him there as he sends the Padres down 1 2 3. After 6, still 3 0 in favor of the Padres. You got it, Al, Red Sox fan. You take care there, Al. We'll see you soon. I know everyone will be watching the draft tonight. At least I will be, so. Top of the seventh. We'll see who your Patriots take in the draft. Top of the seventh. Padres lead 3-0. Dusty Baker leads off. Reislebin still has some left in the tank, although he is due to bat first in the bottom of the seventh. We'll see what he decides to do, but Baker leads off for the Dodgers here. 2-6, that's a blank. Baker will swing, 6-6, six, six. he flies out the left. Rapidly moving game. Of course, every time, it always seems every time I say that, the game somehow starts to slow down. Here's Garvey. Garvey is 0 for 2. Freislebin, 5-4, that's an error chance. Garvey will swing, 6-5, and that's going to be a double to right field. Double to right, and the ball is at the wind field. His error rating is a 4. That's an 11. He won't make an error, so he'll make the play out in right. But Garvey is safe at second with a double. And that is the first extra base hit for the Dodgers in this matchup. And now we'll bring up Ed Goodson. Goodson is 0 for 2. Garvey on at second. The infield will stay where it's at back. And that 16 says nothing happening on the play. Freislebin looks at Garvey. Now he goes ahead and pitches to Goodson. Freislebin, 6-5, range play. Goodson will swing, 6-4. That's a ground ball to short. So the ball is hit to Hernandez, and his range is a four. The infield is back, and he will make the play. The throw goes to first for out number two. Nice play by Hernandez. Garvey's base running rating is a three, a one to two. He'll make third, and no, he stays where he's at. Oh, it's a six. Wait a minute. It's a six. It could be a throw out. Oh, wait a minute. That's a, that's a grounder, not a fly out. So Garvey stays at second base. Two outs. I'm afraid that's a ground out, not a fly out. So two men out, and now the batter is Ferguson. Ferguson is one for two, singled his last time up. Two outs. Anything happening with Freislebin? 16, no. Freislebin will pitch, and that is a 2-1. Strikeout three. Got him. Struck out Ferguson. And the inning is over at strikeout number three for Freislebin. So no runs and a hit given up to the Dodgers. And we are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing your take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back.
We may be doing a morning game, but we still got 10 minute ticker coming up after the day after the game. So don't go away for a 10 minute ticker. And tomorrow night, we'll return back to the night for inside pitch. And tomorrow night, we got we go back to the American League. We got the Minnesota Twins taking on the Oakland Athletics. Dave Goltz on the mound for Minnesota, one of my favorite names in base, of baseball. Dave Goltz, and he'll take on Oakland's Paul Mitchell for tomorrow night for May 26th. So Minnesota, the Twins taking on Oakland. The Twins tw taking on Oakland. We have seen the uh, we have seen the Twins, I believe, in the second schedule block. I'll take a look. I think I think we did. So let's see. Minnesota is no. Then this will be the new game for Minnesota, and Oakland has got to. So minute this will be our look at Minnesota for the second block. As I explain how I do uh, scheduling ga scheduling games for the season. So that every team in the first two schedule blocks gets seen at least once. Some, of course, are seen more than that. And then starting with the third schedule block, I start removing teams from the list. So Minnesota at Oakland tomorrow night. That should be pretty good. Goats against Mitchell. Bottom of the seventh, three nothing here. Padres over the Dodgers. Dave Freislebin is due to bat, and they're going to keep him in there. He still has some batters left in him. I think they're going to keep him in there. You're up three nothing, and he's pitching well, so they're going to. He's going to lead off. Marshall will pitch, and that's a two five. That's a blank. Freislebin also has a hit in this game, four three, but not this time. He grounds it right back to Marshall. So that's the first out. The bullpen is ready just in case. Here's Hernandez. Hernandez is one for two, singled his last time up, reached on an error. Marshall and one three, error on a throw. Hernandez will swing three, six, and that is a ball hit. To, that is an infield single on its way to first base. That's an infield single on its way to first base, but it is an error on a throw. So the ball is hit the first base. Garvey's error rating is a two, and that is a three, and he will make the play, and it just stops in there for an infield single. So Hernandez is safe at first. On an error on a throw, on an error on a throw, okay, on a single, all right, that is just, that's just an infield single right now with an extra base advancement on a bad throw. So in this case, there is no throwing error. So Hernandez is safe at first as that ball stays in the infield, and Hernandez will make it there with the new rules that are putting putting in by Chris on infield singles. So here's Merv Rettenmund. He is next. Rettenmund is one for two. Infield goes to halfway. I am still rolling strat, and that is a 17. And Rettenmund, uh, no, nothing happening. Marshall will go ahead and pitch. And that's a 1-6. Hit by pitch. 12, no. Rettenman will swing. 5-6. And that's a ball hit to center field. That is a 3. Against the righty, Rettenman just smacked a double to center. Double for Rettenman. Will it score Hernandez? He's got a base running rating of 3. Double to center, plus 1-4. Center fielder Baker with no arm. So a one to four, her, a zero arm. One to four, Hernandez will score. Five, he holds six. There could be an out. That is a four. He will score. Hernandez scores and Redmond holds at second. And the Padres now lead it four to nothing. Stadium cheers. Yay. Here's Willie Davis. Davis is 0 for 3. Redmond on at second. There's still one out. Infield goes back. I don't know what I'm rolling for. Now there's no more strat. Marshall will pitch. 4-1 against the lefty. That's a walk chance. That 3 will walk him. He does walk Davis, even with the ballpark adjustment. And runners at first and second now. As a walk issued. And now here's Dave Winfield. Winfield two for three. He could really blow this game wide open, although it already is a 4 nothing lead by the Padres. 
what are they going to do with Marshall here? They're going to let they're going to let him pitch. They're going to let him pitch to Winfield. One out. The infield is halfway. Dodgers looking for a double play. Hopefully, this could be Marshall's last batter though. One three. That's an error on a throw. Winfield will swing. Two one. That is a fly ball to left field. That's a fly out to left field. Now, is there a throw? There still can be a throw now with the new rule. So, Merv Rettman, though, has a base running rating of two. Minus two is the left field is a zero. And the left fielder is Buckner. He has a minus one. So, Rettman ain't going anywhere. So, there will not be a throwing error. And that is out number two. Now, the batter is Doug Rader with runners at first and second and two outs now. And that's, and I, do they, they're going to, the thing about asking Marshall to pitch now, if it goes in a 6 1, that's going to be an automatic base hit. Marshall is due to bat third, and they're going to take a chance and get him, try to get one more out. So Mike Marshall, they're going to keep him there to pitch to Raider. Although Raider actually hits righties better. Do I want to do a double switch instead? You know what? No, that's it, going to be it for Marshall. Mike Marshall is going to come out, and we're going to see a lefty coming up against Raider. Raider does not hit the, the lefties as well. Coming on to pitch for the Dodgers, and they're probably looking for just one out. Let's see what we want to do with the Dodgers here. You know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to stick with Marshall. Marshall's going to pitch. You know, he is tired. They're going to try to see if he can get one more out. So Marshall will pitch to Raider. Of course, there's no strat. Marshall will pitch. 6-6. Six, six, strikeout 10. Got him. He does get Raider. So keeping Marshall in does get the benefit. He does strike him out, and the inning will be over. One run for the Padres on a couple of hits after seven for nothing, San Diego. Eighth inning. Joe Simpson due to lead off for the Dodgers. May see a pinch hitter for him. Uh, Freislebin has about four more batters he can face before tiring. And Joe Simpson, uh, he is in right field. We're going to see a pinch hitter as he's going to be brought back. It is the eighth inning, so I do make I can make position changes. So coming on to pinch hit, and let's see, has to be the most at bats, although I usually don't like using a catcher in this case. So I skip the catcher, and I'm going to bring in Ted Sizemore to pinch hit. He'll go up against Freislebin. And taking over in right field will be Henry Cruz for Simpson. Not as good a fielder, but Cruz will take over in that spot. Let's see. Two, seven, seven. So Henry Cruz will take over. So here's Ted Sizemore leading off. Top of the eighth inning for the Dodgers. They're down 4 nothing. Freislebin, 1-4. That's a blank. Sizemore will swing 6-4, and he grounds it to short for out number one. Bill Russell is the next batter. Russell is 0-1. for 1. He walked in the third inning, flew out last one. Freislebin will pitch to Russell, and that's a 1-6. Strikeout, 20, no chance. Russell, 6-3. That's a base hit to left. Russell goes ahead and gets a single. And we'll see a pinch hitter from Mike Marshall as he is done. And let's see who they're going to bring up. Coming on to pinch hit is going to be Ellie Rodriguez, as they don't have much on the on the bench. So Ellie Rodriguez will pinch hit against Freislebin. Two twelve average, nine RBIs, one out. The infield is halfway. 
There's no strat. Fries Lebin will pitch. That's a 3-3 range play at the park. San Diego Stadium, 6-1. That's a ball hit the right field. That's a ball hit the right. That is a 10, and that is going to be a single, but it is a range play. And right fielder is Winfield. His range is a four. Does he make the play, or is this a single to right? That's he makes the catch. Out number two. And that's just a fly out to right as Winfield is there. Great range out there. He always did have good range. That's the second out. Top of the order for the boys in blue. Here's Davey Lopes. Lopes is 0 for 3. Freislebin will be tired after this. No strat. Russell on it first. Dodgers hoping for a break. They're not getting it. Freislebin 3 2. That's a blank. Lopes will swing. 6-3. Nope, that's a fly out to left, and the inning is over. No runs for the Dodgers. They do get a hit, and Freislebin is tired, and I'll decide to see if they're going to try to let him pitch to get a complete game. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Still 4-0 in favor of the Friars. Henry Cruz does take over in right field for the Dodgers. Bottom of the eighth inning, leading off for the Padres is Tito Fuentes. Dodgers have to go to the bullpen. And let's see. I think they're going to go with, I think they'll go with a lefty. And coming on to pitch for the Dodgers will be Al Downing. One win, two losses, 3.86 ERA. Al Downing is the third Dodger pitcher against Fuentes. So bottom of the eighth, 4 nothing Padres. Downing with the pitch, 5-3, strikeout, 11, no. Fuentes, 5-4, star three, he grounds it to third. One away, and here is Mike Ivey. Ivey is one for two, doubled, reached on an error, and grounded out. Pitch from Downing, 3-6, strikeout, 5, no, too high. San Diego Stadium helps Ivey out there. Ivey will swing, though, and that's a 3-4 against the lefty. Ivey smacks on the split, and that's going to be a double to left. Ivey hits one off of Downing. And he gets that double. Ivy goes to second. And the chance now for Fred Kendall. See if the Padres can get some extra runs here. One out. Runner on second. Downing will pitch to Kendall. There is no strat. Downing will pitch. And that is a 5-5. Five, five. Hit by pitch. That 8. Nope. Kendall will swing. 2-4. He flies out to right. Question now, does Ivy go to third? His base running rating is a three. It's a zero. And the arm in the right fielder is Cruz. And Cruz has a zero arm. So a one to three, Ivy will get to third base. And that is a two, and he does. Ball was deep enough to allow Ivy to go to third. There are two outs. And the batter now is Dave Freislebin. He is tired, but he's pitching a great game right now. 4 nothing lead. I don't know how many complete games he had that year. Don't know how many complete games he had, if he had any complete games at all. You know what? You got to run. If there was nobody on base, I would let him bat. But since there's a runner on base to try to get him in, you got to, you got to, you got to go to the bench. So Freislebin's going to come out. So Dave Freislebin gets a heck of a cheer as the Padres are going to go to the bench. And coming on to pinch it's going to be Willie McCovey. He's going to come on to pinch it. Against Downing, here's the great Willie McCovey. Only hit 204, 204 that year in 76 as his time was winding down.
He did have seven home runs. And the last time I had McCovey in a uh, played with the Padres, McCovey actually hit one. So here's Willie McCovey against Al Downing as they're going to go to the bench here and go to the bullpen and try to finish the game off. Four nothing, two outs. Ivy on at third. There is no strat. Downing will pitch to McCovey. And that is a 5-5. That's a hit by pitch. The 20 doesn't have a chance. McCovey, 4-4, four, four, and it's a star one, and he grounds it to second base. And the inning is over. So no runs. There was a hit. After eight, the Padres are in control for nothing. Will we see some ninth inning magic? Top of the ninth, Padres leading 4 nothing. Bill Buckner is the leadoff batter for the Dodgers. Padres are going to bring in a lefty to pitch to him. That's a definite. He hits the lefty. He doesn't hit lefties as well. See who they're going to bring in. And they're going to go with Dave Tomlin. No wins, a loss, a save, a 2.84 ERA. It's not a save situation. But he's very capable of getting one if necessary. Dave Tomlin will pitch to Bill Buckner. Top of the ninth, 4 nothing Padres. The Dodgers were historically shut out in this game. The Padres look like they're trying to do the same thing. Tomlin will pitch. That's Suba Dice. And that is a 6-5 against the lefty. Strikeout plus. Is that going to be enough? 14 minus 3 is 11, 15. No, he does not strike out Buckner, even with a plus 10. Buckner will swing 3, 6, but he does fly out the left. And there's one out. Here's Dusty Baker. Baker is 0 for 2. Tomlin, 6, 3, strike out 14, no good. Baker swings for one against the lefty. That's going to be a base hit. He gets it past third. And the Dodgers have a man on. What? Did you expect a 1-2-3 closing inning at RJL 5-1-8? I think not. Baker on at first, and here is Steve Garvey. Garvey is one for three. Baker on at first. One out. The infield will move to halfway. There's still no strat. Dodgers trying to prevent from being shut out like they were historically in this game. So people say accuracy. I, I think this is pretty close. Tomlin will pitch. 4-4. Four, four. Walk. 13 high. Garvey will swing. 1-1. One, one. Star 4. That's a ground ball to short. Do they turn the double play to end it? 3 0 Four, second base, Fuentes is a zero. A one to four, this game is over. And it is, throws to second, he gets it to Fuentes. Fuentes then takes the relay, pumps once, pumps twice, throws to first. That's your game. Padres shut the Dodgers out, four to nothing, in a nice early morning game here on RJL 518. Historically, the Padres shut them out 2 nothing. We shut them out 4 nothing. I think that's pretty close. I'll take it. Final line score coming up. There were no runs and a hit. As the Padres get a nice win. So don't go away. 10-minute ticker coming up.
For the Padres, four runs on 10 hits and no errors. For the Dodgers, no runs on four hits and two errors. Dave Freiselbin does get the win, and Tommy John picks up the loss. So it was a 2 nothing game historically. This one's 4 nothing. There were 11 hits in historically. We had 14. There was one error, and we had two. So that's pretty close for me. I'll take it. 10-minute ticker time brought to you by Fast Score Baseball from Replay Sports. So let's see. So the Padres get a 4-0 win. And now let's see how the rest of the league fares today. Brown die is red first. So here we go. 10-minute ticker, May 24th. Cleveland taking on Baltimore. Eckersley against Cuellar. Cleveland has a 12. Make sure you guys can see that chart because I've made it a little larger. 62, and that is 7. Baltimore has an 8. I'm sorry, that, that goes there. Baltimore has a 7. 63, and that is 6 runs. Cleveland barely holds on there. Detroit at Boston. I know Salvador America will be happy to see what happens here. The Tigers are just god-awful. Detroit is a 9. And a 16 don't help them. That's only going to be two runs. Boston has a 14. 12. Oh, and that is one run. Wow, the Tigers beat Boston. And that is only Detroit's seventh win of the season. They are not getting help from fast from the ticker this year. White Sox and the Angels. Both teams have a 9. White Sox, 23. That's two runs. California, 9. 45. That'll give them a win. They'll beat the, they'll win that one. Milwaukee taking on the Yankees. Brewers have a 5. 52. And that is 4. Yankees have a 13. 44. And that is 5. Yankees will win that game. Minnesota taking on Oakland. Minnesota has a 14, 25, and that is three. Oakland has an 11, 15, and that's two. So the Twins beat the A's. Kansas City against the Rangers. Kansas City has a 21. 15, though, not a great roll, though, but they get three runs. Texas has a nine. 53, is that going to be enough to beat them? Yeah, they will win that game, even though Kansas City had the higher... Had the higher points. The Rangers come away with the win. Yankee Mets taking on the Phillies. Let's see how my Mets can do. Mickey Lolich on the mound for the Mets. We got an eight. I need a high roll. 42. And that is only four runs. The Phillies, though, have a 13. Low row, hopefully. Come on. 42. Nope. That's going to be that's gonna be five runs. So no happy recap for me there. Montreal taking on Pittsburgh. Uh, the Expos have a four. 65. That's a heck of a roll, though. That's six runs for the Expos. Pittsburgh has an 11. That 24 is not going to do it. That's going to be three runs. The Expos will beat the Bucks. Astros taking on the Giants. Steeler fan is not in the chat, but I know he'll be happy to see when he watches the replay. Houston has a 14. 12. Yuck. And that is only one run for the Strohs. San Francisco has a 15, 32. That'll win that game for them. That's going to be four runs. As Steeler fan, I know, will say rigged when he gets it. Moving on to May 25, Cleveland against Ball Cleveland versus Baltimore. Cleveland has a four. 45. That's three runs, so I'll cross that seven out, make it a three. Baltimore has Jim Palmer on the mound. They got an eight. 64. That'll win the game for them. They get seven. Detroit taking on Boston. Mark Fidrich was on the mound for this game. Fidrich against Louis Tion. Good matchup. Unfortunately, it was on an odd number day, so it wasn't. Uh, I couldn't schedule it. I'll, I know Baseball Demos wants me to do one game with the bird. I will do my best to see if I can get a game in there. Detroit taking on Boston. The Fidrich, the bird, has a seven. And that is a 22. That's two runs. Louis Tion on the mound for the Red Sox has a 6, 31, 
And that's two runs, so we got extra innings here. Detroit's clutch is a two, so two plus five is seven. Boston's clutch is a minus two, and five minus two is three, so that's going to be four runs going to Detroit, and that's going to be six. The Tigers will beat the Red Sox six to seven as Detroit wins two games in a row, I think for the first time ever for this season, I think. I have to look. White Sox against California. Both teams have a seven. And that is a 24. And that is two runs for the White Sox. California has a seven as well. 42. And that's going to be three runs. And the Angels will beat the White Sox. Milwaukee against Milwaukee against the Yankees. Yes, Gillies T Bolt joins me here at the uh, at uh, San Diego Stadium, and I think it's the first time you've joined me. Welcome, sir. Yes. You like the fast score chart? Yes, I do. I think it, there are many of systems out there that can give you a quick background check. Um, I just love this. The reason why? Print and play. That's it. And I have all the fast score charts from Replay. Order them all. They're very cheap. Print, play, and forget. Just roll. Print and roll. Milwaukee taking on the Yankees. That's pretty realistic. Milwaukee has a 5, and that is a 32, and that a 5, 32, and that is two runs. Yankees have an 11, and it is an honor for you to have, to have you here, sir. I have watched a couple of your videos. 13, and that is an 11 and a 13, and that is going to be one run, so the Brewers will beat the Yankees. Minnesota taking on Oakland. Minnesota has a 7. 14, and that is one run. Oakland takes on 16. Sounds like Ronco. Set it and forget it. Yep. Oakland has Vita Blue on the mound. They got a 16, 24. That should be enough. It is. It's four runs, and the swing and A's will win that one. Cardinals taking on the Cubs. Cardinals have a nine. Alan Shaw joins us here real quick late in the, late in the game, late in the, in the broadcast. 45 for the Cardinals. And they have a nine, and that is going to be four runs. The what? The Cubs have a ten. Ray Burris pitching, twenty-three. That's not going to cut it. Two runs. The Cardinals will beat the Cubs. Atlanta taking on the Reds. Atlanta has a twelve, twenty-four. That is three. Cincinnati has a twenty. Twelve. Oh, is that going to be enough? Two runs. No, the Reds lose another close game. Cincinnati is the best team in the game right now, but they have not been playing well. They have not been playing well. And good to see Alan Shaw here. Always an honor when you join me as well, sir. It is an honor when all of you guys join me. Mets taking on Philadelphia in a rematch of a game I just did last time. Tom Seaver against Jim Lonborg. We had the game last time. The other way around, Philadelphia at the Mets. This is a rematch. Seaver against Lonborg. The Mets got a six. I need a good roll here for my Mets. A 65 is great, and that is seven runs. Philadelphia has an eight. Can the franchise hold them off? I need a low roll for Philadelphia. 42, and that will be a win for the Mets. Seven to four. I'll get a happy recap with Tom Seaver. Montreal taking on Pittsburgh. Expos have a six. And that is 43. And that's three runs. The Bucs have Doc Medich and an 11. 33. And that's three runs. We got extras. Montreal has a zero clutch. And they roll a six, which is a great roll anyway. Pittsburgh has a zero clutch. They roll a five. Nope, not going to do it. That's going to be one run to the Expos. And they'll win it four to three. Don't worry. I know I've marked this. That was a mistake. So Dodgers playing the Padres. Dodgers have a 5. 32. And that is two runs. It's okay to give a shameless plug. It's okay to give a shameless plug. You go right ahead. Anybody in my chat that says they have a game coming up after me or something like that, please do. I Free advertising here, guys. I wish I could get royalties for this, but no. I really wish I could. Here's the Randy Jones on the mound, a six. 13, is that good? No, Dodgers will win this one. 
They shut the Padres out back in the next game. They went to nothing. Astros and the Giants. J.R. Richard on the mound for Houston. A 16. 54. And that's a great roll. That is seven runs for the Strohs. The Giants have a five. 23. That's not going to cut it. And the Astros will win the sec their second, ga the second game. So I know Steeler fan will be happy about that. If your team won today, congratulations. If they didn't, there's always tomorrow. And tomorrow night, we will be at Oakland Coliseum as the Minnesota Twins will take on the Oakland Athletics. Dave Goltz against Paul Mitchell tomorrow night. Baseball Demos is going to do Nats game 47 against the Mets. I will definitely be watching it because I am a big-time Mets fan. And last night, Jacob DeGrom did great. And he still gets I Jacob Jacob DeGron is definitely gonna sue the Mets for run support. Baseball demos, Alan Shaw, Gillies Tebow, Al Red Sox fan, Dan Douglas for Remain 90, Michael Peterson, Jack Dawson. Thank you all for joining me today. Please leave a like on your way out through the turnstiles. Subscribe if you've not done so. No game tonight, of course, since I'm watching the first round of the draft. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong. We'll see you guys tomorrow night for more baseball action. It is the Padres shutting out the Dodgers today, four to nothing. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. Take care. Have a good day.